Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972, and today I am reviewing the Sony ICF C1T FM AM clock radio that I bought at a local flea market for just $10 back in June. Here's the front of the radio right here. But before I show you the rest of it, I'm going to show you the box it came in. Here it is. Um, it came in this box. Uh, here are the features in English. You can pause and read that while I go over them. It has FMAM radio, dual alarm clock, automatic daylight savings time adjustment, and a backup battery. Picture of the radio on the side. Back of the box. Same features, only in French. You can pause and read that if you wish. And then more English and French uh, writing on this side of the box, including the barcode. A uh, Sony Corporation address is there in Tokyo, Japan. Made in China. So, yes, this radio was made in China. And then here's the top of the box here. You can pause and look at that. Just reiterating the features. And the bottom of the box... That's all there is, Sony ICF C1T. Now, it came in this uh, protective bag here. And it came with a lithium battery, a 3-volt lithium battery. It's a CR2032 Sony battery right here. Now, it no longer works. Uh, the battery's dead. But I figured I'd show you the battery it came with. Now, here's what it didn't come with. It didn't come with instructions. That's right. The operation manual was not included in this radio, which tells me that I bought a used radio. But that's okay. I wanted to give this radio a try. And actually, I was able to download instructions off the internet for this radio. And that's what the instructions look like in English. I'm not going to be able to focus on that, but yes. And I wanted to also see, there's an English-French bilingual instruction here that I wanted to show you. So I was able to get two PDF files. And here's the other one right here. Yep, pretty simple. That's what it came in. So here's the front of the radio. It shows the time, and you can adjust the brightness as well from the back. So this isn't uh, the only brightness you can see here. As a matter of fact, I'll show you on the top of the radio, there's your brightness display, and you can adjust it. Three different brightnesses. So I just want to show you that. Speaking of which, I'll show you the top. The top of the radio has an alarm clock in which you can set two different alarms. Alarm A, you can set it to buzz, which is uh, the alarm buzzer or the radio. Same thing with the B on the top right. It's adjustable. You can set the alarm time using these down and up buttons here. These two buttons on the left, uh, they're for alarm A, and these two buttons on the right are for alarm B. The radio button to turn on and off your radio here. The sleep timer button here, to the right of the radio button, there's your alarm reset alarm off button here. Your off button here, and Sony logo here, and then your radio dial here, which is from 87.5 to 108 megahertz on the FM, and on the AM, it's 530, 1710 kilohertz. And then your snooze brightness button right here. Now, I'll go to the bottom of the radio, right here. It has uh, two big feet to stand on. They don't look big, but they're big compared to these two little dots called feet. 
to stand up the radio here. Uh, four areas in which you can unscrew the radio and open it. Vanity case here. I'm going to bring this up a little closer. You can pause and read all this. And the caution warning here. And over here, right inside this radio is you can press this and take out the battery. And I'll show you the battery. It's the CR Energizer battery that I put in. 3 volts. This one's made in Japan. So, yeah. I gotta put it back in this way. And it snaps in. Benny case, if I hadn't mentioned it earlier. And then the sides of the radio. Uh, starting with the right side, you have your tuning wheel, which is pretty smooth. An AM, FM band selector switch here. On the back of the radio, your enter time set button here, your up and down buttons uh, to set the time. And then your daylight savings time automatic on off button here and your time zone button here. More venting here. And on this side of the radio, volume wheel here and a two and a quarter inch speaker here. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to show you how to set up the time. It's going to be a little hard to do because... It, yeah, it's a little hard to use because you have to set the buttons from the back to set the time. So, I press an old de-enter button. That is the year, uh, 2019. 12 is December. That's the month. 06 is the day, so today is December 6th, 2019. You press enter again to exit that, and then you can set your time using your up and down buttons over here. But I'm going to press uh, the enter button again so I don't need to change the time. And then the DST button you can press. To put it automatically on or automatically off. And then your time zone button. It defaults to 2, which is Eastern Time. 3 is Central. 4 is Mountain. 5 Pacific. 6 is Alaska. 7 is Hawaii. 0 is uh, New Finland. Um, Standard Time. And then Atlantic Time is... One, so I'll say add two since it's Eastern. Now, what I'm going to do right now is um, set the alarm to let it go buzz. And I'll set it to 611. It's not very loud. So, that's kind of a problem with this alarm. I wish there was a way to adjust the volume. However, you can also turn on or set the alarm to go on radio. And you see, it's automatically set to radio, so you can wake up to either the alarm buzz, or the radio. Now I'm going to turn that off right now. There's a sleep button here, and I'm going to adjust it. You can go to 90, 60, 30, 15, or off. I'll turn off the radio using this button. And right now, I'm going to do an FM and AM band scans. So I'll turn on the radio. And go through the band. Oh yeah, that's the volume. That's really the best way I can hold it.
WNYZ LP 87.75 New York City. Though, so that's uh, the station I start off with. So we'll continue to the dial. I'm not going to identify every station since this is a uh, DSP analog display radio. So you'll hear that step tuning as I go up the dial. <laughs> Expect of some gigantic event. Uh, I don't. People's minds are going to be changed. <laughs> Good sound. Pretty good sound. WEPN 98.7 ESPN New York City. And he said, we can't afford them both. He has been about... Hey, your son wants new bands? Right, so it is a slow ride there. Then that's the positive. You end up, that's the idea. Plus, keep my hand, you know, they... WFAN, uh, 101.9, the, the fan. Uh, looking forward to doing, and uh, it's it's a way to still be involved. In terms of a career, for details. <laughs> There's pain that does not stop. I feel trapped by the sack style for less. It's Noel's mission to find him. I like it. One oh six point seven light FM WLTW New York. Orders are ready in just two hours. Visit Macy's.com slash and that is it for the FM. And um, considering this is a DSP radio that has no external antenna, um, not a bad performer. It actually does pretty good from where I am. Now, I did do a reception report on... I got 45 stations total. And uh, most of them came in pretty good. There were a few weak ones, probably... No more than 10 of them. So let's say 35 were decent to good reception. Maybe 10 weak stations. But that's it. 45 is uh, not bad for a radio with no external antenna. So what I'm going to do next is um, go over to the AM band. But before I do that, I'll give you an AM reception report during the day. Because it's 6.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from the northeastern part of New Jersey, and I got about 30 stations. So, not bad. Most of them came in strong. Only maybe two or three were rather weak, and that's it. But, um, you know, 30 stations for a DSP radio is uh, not bad, and Sony's one of the better... has one of the better DSP chips in there, at least... It's what this radio is showing me. It's one of the better DSP performers. Because DSP can be hit or miss depending on what radio you have. So, it holds its own. So I'm going to tune into the AM. Like I said, it's early evening. So uh, I may get a few distant stations now. S so let's go to AM right here. Yeah, I got some interference right now. So you're going to hear that buzz interference sound. So see uh, what we can get. Uh, free bets. DraftKings has it all. DraftKings Sportsbook is so easy to use. You can deposit WFAN. Like and Sports Radio 66, seconds, the no fan. DraftKings Sportsbook app. Okay. All right. But let's listen to the music for a second anyway. Sure. Sorry. 
Sorry. That's 710 WOR. Hey, hey, that. Actually, pursuing the truth. 770 WABC. Never been in Halloween and my life would have never changed. Jamie Lee Curtis, next time on the New Yorker Radio Hour. Tomorrow morning at 10 on 93.9 FM WNYC. That's 820 WNYC, New York City. I think that's the best we can do tomorrow is about 10 880 WCBS. Saturday night using uh, what would be called Big Brother technology, whether it's facial recognition I think that's AI, 930. Uh, in non-criminal cases. Uh, and I think that that is uh, not anti-China. It's because there's a different sense of privacy. Yep, WPAT 930, that. Patterson, uh, New Jersey. Just quickly, my dad is joining us from the Hague. 970. Uh, just finishing up the three days of the argument there on the situation in the... Radio Islamic seems Republic. a little quiet on the uh, AM. The Saudi student studying here... 1010 10 wins, WINS. We, we lean to UAB and the, uh, and the gold sheet. By the way, the coach... 1050, WEPN, New York Bill City. Clark is a great... Oh, I think I missed the call as I was trying to see what station that was. Tomorrow morning from Charlotte, a number of other students, those heading for Florida, assembled. And Swan of the Police Foundation will be coordinating the Charlotte. Yes, 1110 WBT Charlotte, North Carolina. That's 533 miles. It wasn't a, a, a big stretch for consumer product companies to say... WBBR, oh, New York City, market. 1130 but Bloomberg Radio. You think about cosmetics, it's aimed at young, right? Sort of used... That's 1190 WLIB, New York City, 1190. WPHT, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 82 miles away. No le va bien. Twelve eighty. Redeemed us. He's bought us back from sin, the devil, death. Fourteen thirty WNSW Newark, New Jersey, relevant radio. Fourteen eighty. God's word. Fifteen sixty. That enables the gospel. WFME, New York City, Family Radio. Every day of the year. Sixteen hundred. 1630. And I think 1640 is also on there. There's usually a quieter, weaker version. Yeah, this is 1630. And this is 1640. 1630 Clifton, 1640 Patterson, New Jersey. All right, um, that is music, Spanish music on WTTM, Lindenwald, New Jersey, 1680. 
That is about 84 miles. That's 1690 WPTX, Lexington Park, Maryland. That's 218 miles. Let me see if I have 1700. Now, too weak to get 1700 right now. Especially since they've been running on lower power. So... That is it. Um, not a bad performer. Although, weaker stations do sound a little on the quiet side. But, if you get a strong station, it sounds great. So, not too bad uh, as far as AM performance is concerned. As a matter of fact, I have an AM reception report at night. I think at 52 stations, but... Uh, those 52 stations happened at around midnight or after midnight. It's only 623 in the evening. My report's from like 1230 at night, so it'll probably get better at night later on. Right now, only 623, so not too bad. Um, and uh, 52 stations is pretty good. For a DSP radio. So. Um, my final thoughts. Um, I like it. I like it. You don't need a lot. In order to get. Stations. Um, because it is a clock radio. There's other radios you can use for. DXing. This isn't really made for DXing. But it's still pretty good for locals. And semi-locals. On both AM and FM. Uh, it's a little hard to use, though the clock ray is a little hard to use at times. You kind of have to get used to it, but otherwise, I'm happy with this radio. So, um, if you can find a radio like this, I'd say go for it. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. Have a good weekend, everyone, and God bless. Bye-bye.